Okay guys, uh, Marianne, I just got everything uh, hooked up and connected. Um, we, we don't have any solar connected yet. We're just running off batteries. So let me just take a minute and show you what the heck is going on. Um, I've got the two batteries over here connected in parallel. So you can see I've got positive to positive, negative to negative. Then I've got my power going from the inverter right here. So I've got the power, um, I'm sorry, the negative from the inverter goes down this cable right here, comes back up to the batteries, and then the, the cable connecting the two batteries together, and then this one from the inverter are connected. You'll notice that I have the, the power and the negative on, on two different sides. Uh, and what I'm trying to say, I'm not saying it correctly, but you can see I've got power, the, the positive side pulling from here, but then on the, the two batteries connected to there, I've got negative over here. I saw some videos where some guys were saying that you don't wanna connect um, both positive and negative on the same battery. It'll work, they said it'll be fine, but what happens is it creates where it's pulling too much power off one and the other one kind of gets wimpy. So this kind of uh, apparently spreads the load. So I did that. Um, the solar charge controller uh, powered up as soon as we connected the batteries. And, you know, so tomorrow I'm gonna work on connecting solar panels and the solar will run from, from outside. So I've got my window pass-through unit here that I, I do for my, um, for my ham radios, for my antennas. I've got some extra ports, so I'm gonna disconnect one and I'm gonna run the uh, power leads from the solar uh, and do a connection outside so I can connect and disconnect those when I need to. But then that'll run up here, run behind this board. I just have this board right now leaning against the wall. It's kind of temporary. Put a little zip tie on there to keep it from falling over. Um, but I, I'm trying to decide where I want to put it, if I'm going to put it on the walls of my office, or uh, I kind of like having it portable that I can uh, you know, grab it and throw it in my truck and take it somewhere. So we shall see. Uh, this is the breaker where the solar power will come in. So it'll, you know, tomorrow we'll get that all connected on there. And what's nice is I can uh, turn on and off the solar panels anytime I want. And then there's the power going up to the, um, the solar panels on that. So it's ready to go. I just need to connect wires to it. Um, this is a fuse right here. Uh, so I fused um, the, the lead going to the, to the battery. So I just put a 150 amp fuse. I need to get the covers modified because the covers um, the way i have my wiring done they won't snap back on so i need to get that this is another old cir uh, circuit breaker to where i can manually turn anything off at any time so if i'm sitting here and something weird's going on i can push this and it disconnects everything turns it off and then i can flip it back on and it'll it'll fire everything back up i'm running a light over here so I had Marianne connect on the back of the inverter just for a test, I had her connect this. So this uh, light, just for a test, is being run off the inverter, so that's kind of cool. And the last thing I um, will show you is this is a 12 volt uh, fuse panel bank, basically. Um, so it, it'll give me the ability to connect up to 12 things. So what I'm printing, you just take the old, um, I thought I had one over here, but you just take the old blade, yeah, here it is. You just take the old blade fuses like we grew up with as kids in cars and you just choose what size you need. So I'm gonna connect like a 30 amp um, to this thing and I'm gonna run a wire. I'm gonna run it over here. So like here's my power supply for my radios and they're connected to a uh, Anderson power pole connector underneath. So I've got, I've got all the radios connected by Anderson power uh, connectors, power pole connectors. And so I'm going to run a 30 amp off of this and run it over to my Anderson power pole connector so that if I want, I can completely disconnect the power supply or if the grid's down, uh, then I'll be able to charge. And that's really the reason I did this whole thing was to charge radios. So um, anyway, I, I, as, as usual, I've talked too long. I've, now I've got to learn this stuff. So I've got to learn... Uh, get into the manual on the solar charge controller. I've got to get into the manual of this uh, small inverter. But hey, we're we're powering up. It's working. Nothing's smoking. Nothing's hot. I did oversize all the wire, but that's just my nature. I did two gauge on it, which is bigger than you you really need. Now this is a six gauge here. 
uh, only because that's as large as I could get in the solar charge controller, the opening there, that's the biggest I could go. This is another little breaker here that was recommended. So everything's kind of fused and breakers and all that. So it should be pretty safe, hopefully. And I didn't get electrocuted and my hair didn't get fried and curly. So anyway, I'm, I'm happy about that. Lights running and um, let, me get, let me know what you guys think. All the best.